Not too long ago, we opened up a temporary pop-up store devoted to Photoshop. It was a spot where people could come in and meet with instructors and see all sorts of really cool artwork. There was stuff on the wall from our own Kelly Castro, who helps test Lightroom. An amazing photographer, does great work. But it always kind of bothered me that my stuff wasn't hanging on the wall. So I'm going to show you how to edit in perspective and drop your images into any other image while respecting perspective. So here's a still from the store, and you can see Kelly's gorgeous black and whites on the back wall there. They look great. Let me show you how to drop in a different image. Here's the image I took. Let's go ahead and hit Command A to select that, Command C to copy it, and now we'll move back over to this one. The trick here is creating a new layer before we go into Vanishing Point. That's going to allow it to be editable afterwards. We're going to come up to Filter and go to Vanishing Point. And Vanishing Point is a little world where we can dictate the perspective of our image. So we're going to zoom in here. We're going to make sure that our Create Plane tool is selected. And I'm just going to drop a point in each corner. And that's telling the image what the perspective is. And afterwards, I can just grab these handles and move them around. And red will show me that the perspective is incorrect. Sometimes I'll get yellow. And yellow will show me that it's on the line. And blue is mathematically correct. You want to make sure you've aligned these correctly. That looks great. Now I'm going to back up a little bit using Command minus, and then I'm going to use Command V to drop in my image. Now before I do anything, I need to make that a lot smaller. So I'm going to take the Transform tool, and I'm going to Shift click to hold the proportions and shrink that down. Now the area I'm dropping it is pretty small, so I want to make sure my image is small as well. When I'm happy with that, I pick it up and drop it over, and as soon as it hits the plane, it'll snap into perspective. That looks great. I'm going to click OK and come back out. Now let's toggle our layer. That looks good. But if we zoom in here, there are a couple of problems. On the original image, there was a bright hot spot from the light at the bottom, and the texture was a little different. Let's work on the lighting first. With that layer selected, we're going to come up to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. And I've got all sorts of different choices when it comes to my light. Point, spot, infinite. I can even colorize or warm it. In this case, that's going to work just fine. I want a hot spot at the bottom. If I wanted to make that brighter, it's really easy to do there. That looks good. Now let's zoom in a little bit more and talk about the texture. You'll notice that because what I dropped in is high resolution and the other file, we've zoomed in quite a bit and we're starting to see some of the texture and the noise. They don't quite match. So I want to come in and add a little bit of noise. I'm going to filter, add noise, and just a taste will work just fine there. If I toggle the preview, I'll see the differences subtle but really important. Click OK, back up, and let's revert to see where we started. Before and after. And I could go through layer by layer and choose any of the different planes in this image, from the table to the walls, frame by frame. So whether you want to put your own pictures inside a Photoshop and Use store, change a billboard, or even change the view out your window, using perspective editing and these tricks with layers can help you get a really realistic photo.